I was watching Google Maps to see where the train station was where I have to switch trains and I noticed it was right across the street from King's Cross so I went in so I could see the Harry place of the Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters which has this huge line and like this little shop and this little like photo stop but there's like so many people there which is very funny so now we're continuing on to Dover I'll be back to London at the end of my trip for one day look at these little taxis they're so cute I've never seen a taxi like that before Welcome to Dover, England. This is like the cutest little Airbnb. We're right on the waterfront, right by the ferry terminal, which is actually super cool because when I wake up in the morning, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be getting on the Disney Magic to visit Rachel. And I think I'm gonna be able to see where the ship is right across from here. So this is the view. It's hard to like see it, but like I think the ship is gonna be right over on there. And then this is the ferry terminal over here. This is our cute little room. I have a cute little spot here. Hello. Bed. So I'm getting ready to go and we're gonna head out to see the white cliffs of Dover, which as soon as we're out of here, I'll show you where they are. They are like right behind this house. And there's like a castle and the cliffs and I'm really excited on some tunnels. So um, we're gonna go check it out today. Okay, I'm pretty sure I left this little guy on this car yesterday when I came in here, and he's still here. Look at him. He's not scared of anything. Oh my god. Cute car though, too. I like this car. What is this? I don't know. Okay, so this is this cute little house here, and it goes like this, number eight. And then, okay, so, oh, he, oh he's watching me. He's watching me. Oh my god, I have an apple. Is that why he's watching me? I have an apple. Okay, so we walk down this like cute little laneway, just right across from the water. And I'll show you, when there's a break in the houses, you'll be able to see the white cliffs that are right behind here, and like, it's so cool. So here we are on the ground, and then like, look up. <gasps> These are the cliffs. Oh my god. I'm gonna climb up there. Cute little like, laneway little walk through town yesterday which was nice oh you get an even better view over here look I'm on the path up to the castle it's a little bit steep but this is a beautiful walk I love it so the first tour is the wartime tunnels and then after that we go to the castle and I saw that two of the movies that were shot at this castle were Hamlet was shot here and the other Boylan girl and a handful of others that I don't remember. Ooh, we're going through the castle gates. I did the tunnel tour of the hospitals and it was really cool. The, it was a 20 minute tour, the other one was an hour tour and there was quite a long line so I don't know if I want to wait. Like how, I don't know how long I have to wait for the other tour. Ooh, oh my God, oh my God. We are at the top of the tower. Wow. There's a lot of spots in here that it's like for light to come through and like enter into the main spaces. But it's just kind of scary because you can like see all the way in and like some of them are kind of blocked off now, but some of the Marley, there's like a big one up here. This one goes all the way up through the top there. Holes here too. Those are like holes of light, but they're also kind of like peepholes because you can see down into the room. 
Ooh, what's this one? Oh my god. Okay. Look at the well. I gotta sit down and hold on with two hands for this. That was such a cool afternoon. I love castles. Nothing is ever probably going to be as good as King Ludwig's Summer House Castle in Germany because that one was like the most amazing one I've ever seen. Um, but I'm still going to go today. I still need to go to the White Cliffs of Dover. So I think that there's a walking trail up like past my Airbnb. So instead of coming back and I'm basically just like fangirling over all of these totally normal stores because I just have never seen them and I've just like, you know, like watched YouTube and like seen people talk about them. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so cool. This is like what people talk about when they go to M&S and I just love that. M&S, super drug and boots. I think we're going back down the way we came. I'm kind of finding the same thing here that we did when we were in Japan of like, here they drive on the left side of the road, but when I, go up to a group of people and you're like trying to walk past each other they go to the right and i'm like why are you, why are we going to the right this looks cute let's walk down here does it not make sense that it would be like instinctual to pass on the left instead because they drive on the left i get confused this is a really pretty little walkway hopefully this is taking me where i want to go they have Nando's, which we do have Nando's in Toronto. And I wonder if there's any difference between Canadian Nando's and UK Nando's. So I feel like I always hear people talking about it, but I do love Nando's. And then we come down here. So cool. Right next door, we have MNS. <laughs> so cool. Okay. It's time to climb the White Cliffs of Dover, and I'm very excited. This is the entrance here to do the climb is like literally right outside the door of my Airbnb, which you saw this morning. Like, we are going up there. Cool. Also, I saw some bumblebees earlier today, and they are the biggest bumblebees I have ever seen. Like, very fat, very brown. I just climbed up a lot of stairs. I think this is actually the start of the trail here. Let me come over here. I wonder if the audio, because I'm using this, is better or worse, but okay. So we're on this like hike that's along here. It's like only an hour long, and this is we're taking us to the lighthouse that they were telling me about, which I wasn't really sure, but now I'm like, oh, this is the lighthouse. It's gonna be closed by the time I get there, so I can't stop for tea. But what I did was I looked up on Spotify and I searched podcasts with the name Dover in them, and I found these two British ladies who do like hikes, and they're talking about doing this hike along here. And they were telling me that the reason that the only reason that the cliffs are able to stay white is because they are eroding naturally. Um, yeah, and just talking about some of like the history of the area, and I like that. I like. Oh, and I also found some kind of like. So I went to I went to Dover Castle before this, and I found a little bit about some like haunted story of the castle. I was like, oh, I wish I had this while I was walking around there, but I'll just do some either tonight or on my way on the walk back because I just love that kind of thing. Oh my god, I just came up here so I could take a picture of the cliffs over here, and I like this edge right here. I was like, oh my god, it's so close. But this is the view that I came to see right here. Oh, this, I don't think I'm actually like scared of heights, but 
I'm not getting any closer to the ledge. That just seems so unsafe. It's like really windy up here, but it was like hot out today. So I like don't mind it at all. Um, if anything, it's a nice breeze, but I'm just trying to protect this. Oh, I wonder if we can try and get a picture here somehow. didn't come this far to not go to the lighthouse. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like wearing all black and I'm trying to take these like selfie pictures sitting on the white chalk mountain, white chalk cliffs. So <laughs> that was not good planning. How's my face looking? I put sunscreen on. This is a beautiful view this way. I just love podcasts so much. Like I always need to have a podcast downloaded in case I'm like somewhere like on the subway or out here right now where I don't have service and I can't like connect to Spotify. Like I just always have to have podcasts. I I just I just love it. I'm finding out all of this good information about Dover, about the castle. It's just so cool. It's it really is the new not not that this is like a tour guide, but I just find listening to podcasts where people are discussing different things like so much more interesting than like taking one of those like guided tours and stuff when you go to a museum. This is just so much better. I think I might be like halfway back now. And when I get back, I need to walk further to go and get some dinner and then back. But what can you do? Oh, so beautiful. see this path. This was such a good day in Dover and I'm super excited to go and get on the ship tomorrow. The Disney Magic which is really similar in like the layout and like in the design and everything of the Disney Wonder which is the ship that I was on. So I'm super excited to get on tomorrow and I just think it's gonna just like feel exactly like being on the Wonder which is super fun. I think I'm gonna be able to see it when I wake up. And this is the end of the vlog for Dover. I will see you again tomorrow when we get on board the Disney Magic. Bye. La 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 Lauren.